Hello everyone. As we gather here, the world outside is already hinting at the changes to come. Winter is a season of transformation, and the next couple of years promise to be especially interesting. As we look ahead to the winter of 2025 to 2026, the big story is change. The familiar patterns we've grown used to are shifting, and with them, our expectations for the season. We're seeing major shifts in weather patterns globally, impacting local temperatures and storms. These changes are not isolated. They ripple across continents, affecting everything from snowfall in your backyard to the timing of storms thousands of miles away. The weakening of a long-standing La Nina pattern in the Pacific Ocean is the main reason for this shift. For years, La Nina has influenced global weather, steering storms and shaping temperatures. But now, its grip is loosening. As it fades, we move into an ENSO neutral state, allowing other weather drivers to take the lead. This transition opens the door for new and sometimes unpredictable influences, making the upcoming winter less certain but more intriguing. For the Midwest and Northeast, prepare for more frequent cold Arctic air. These regions could see sharper temperature drops and more intense cold snaps, as the polar jet stream dips further south. The south may see milder weather but with an active storm track. While temperatures could be above average at times, the risk of strong storms and heavy rainfall will keep everyone on their toes. Out west, expect a different story altogether. The Rockies and west coast could experience a mix of heavy mountain snow and periods of rain, with weather systems arriving in quick succession. This winter will be dynamic and active, full of surprises. From sudden snowstorms to unexpected warm spells, the atmosphere will keep us guessing and no two weeks may look the same. Preparing for this winter means staying informed and understanding the different weather drivers. It's more important than ever to keep an eye on forecasts, have emergency plans in place, and be ready for rapid changes. We will explore five major global weather patterns shaping the months ahead. Each one plays a unique role, from influencing jet streams to determining where storms will hit hardest. It's a fascinating puzzle, and we have a lot of the pieces in front of us. By understanding how these patterns interact, we can better prepare for whatever this remarkable winter has in store. To truly understand what this winter has in store, we need to look beyond the daily forecast and dive into the powerful forces that shape our weather. Each winter, a complex dance of global weather patterns determines whether we'll see mild days, relentless snow, or sudden cold snaps. These patterns don't just affect your local neighborhood, they influence weather across entire continents, and even the globe. Let's meet the five main weather patterns that will be steering the course of this winter. Each one plays a unique role, and together, they create the unpredictable tapestry of winter weather we experience. First up is the El Nino Southern Oscillation, or ENSO. This phenomenon in the tropical Pacific Ocean is a major driver of global weather. When ENSO shifts, it can tip the balance between wet and dry, warm and cold, not just in the Pacific, but around the world. This year, meteorologists are watching closely as the ENSO cycle transitions. A change here can mean more storms for some regions, and drier, milder conditions for others. The ripple effects are felt far and wide, influencing everything from snowfall totals to the timing of winter storms. Next, we have the Pacific Decadal Oscillation, or PDO. This long-term pattern in the Pacific Ocean influences the position of the jet stream, which acts like a highway for storms. When the PDO shifts, it can redirect storm tracks, bringing wetter or drier conditions to the western United States and beyond. Then there's the Arctic Oscillation, or AO, and the North Atlantic Oscillation, or NAO. These two patterns control the movement of cold Arctic air. When they're in a certain phase they can lock frigid air up north, or unleash it, sending icy blasts deep into North America and Europe. For example, a negative AO phase opens the gates, allowing bitterly cold air to surge southward, sometimes leading to dramatic temperature drops and intense winter storms. The NAO meanwhile has a big impact on storm tracks along the east coast, its phase can determine whether storms stay out at sea or barrel inland, bringing heavy snow and wind to major cities. Finally, the Madden-Julian Oscillation, or MJO, adds another layer of complexity. This pattern moves around the globe every few weeks, 
creating bursts of rain and storms in the tropics that can ripple out to affect weather in the U.S. and beyond. As the MJO shifts, it can enhance or suppress storm activity, sometimes triggering severe weather outbreaks or quiet spells, even in the heart of winter. When all these patterns interact, they create a dynamic and ever-changing winter landscape. No two winters are ever exactly alike, thanks to the unique combination of these global forces. By understanding these patterns, meteorologists can make more accurate predictions, helping you prepare for whatever winter brings, whether it's a mild season, or a wild one. Stay tuned as we track these powerful influences throughout the season and help you make sense of the ever-changing winter weather ahead. For the past several winters, La Nina has played a significant role in shaping the weather patterns across North America. This recurring climate phenomenon, driven by cooler-than-average sea surface temperatures in the Central and Eastern Pacific Ocean, has left its mark on our recent cold seasons. Typically, La Nina brings colder, stormier conditions to the Pacific Northwest and the Northern Plains. Residents in these regions have grown accustomed to frequent snowfalls, icy roads, and powerful winter storms that sweep across the landscape, making travel and daily life more challenging. But as we look ahead to the winter of 2025 to 2026, a major shift is on the horizon. The familiar patterns we've seen in recent years are about to change, setting the stage for a new chapter in our seasonal weather story. The current La Nina event is gradually losing its grip, with ocean temperatures in the Pacific beginning to rise back toward normal levels. This transition marks the end of La Nina's dominance and the beginning of an ENSO neutral phase. In an ENSO neutral phase, the Pacific Ocean's surface temperatures are close to average, neither too warm nor too cool. This balance means that neither La Nina nor El Nino is steering the global weather engine, allowing for more variability in atmospheric patterns. Without the strong influence of La Nina or El Nino, the jet stream, the high-altitude river of air that guides storms and cold fronts, can behave in new and unpredictable ways. This opens the door to a wider range of weather possibilities across the continent. During an ENSO neutral winter, the polar jet stream often becomes more wavy and meandering. This waviness can allow cold Arctic air to plunge farther south than usual, while also letting milder air push northward at times. As a result, the Midwest and Northeast are at greater risk for significant cold air outbreaks. These regions could experience sharp temperature drops, sudden snowstorms, and periods of intense winter weather making it important for residents to stay prepared. Meanwhile, in the southern United States, the storm track is expected to become more active. This means more frequent rain events, increased cloud cover, and the potential for above-average precipitation, which could help replenish water supplies and nourish crops. This transition from La Nina to Enso Neutral is a pivotal moment for meteorologists and weather forecasters. It serves as the foundation for our winter outlook guiding predictions, and helping communities prepare for what's ahead. The switch from one dominant climate pattern to another promises a dynamic and potentially unpredictable winter, with new challenges and opportunities for regions across the country. Beyond ENSO, the Pacific Decadal Oscillation, or PDO, is a slower pattern. Currently, we're in a strong negative phase of the PDO. This setup influences the jet stream's position. A negative PDO encourages a high-pressure ridge over the Gulf of Alaska. This creates a trough, allowing Arctic air to pour into the Midwest and East. The negative PDO will be felt throughout the winter. It increases the odds of cold air moving into the heart of the country. This setup is a major reason for forecasting a colder-than-average season. The polar vortex is a large area of cold air over the North Pole. Sometimes it weakens, allowing cold air to plunge southward. The Arctic Oscillation, or AO, controls this movement. A negative AO means a weaker pressure pattern, allowing cold air to move south. This winter, a negative AO could become more common. This allows the polar vortex to deliver blasts of cold to the Midwest and Northeast. Long-range models hint at a pattern favorable for polar vortex disruptions. When these cold air outbreaks happen, they can be dramatic. Temperatures can plummet far below zero, with dangerous wind chills. 
These events also set the stage for snow, creating a clipper conveyor belt. The potential for a negative AO is a major reason for forecasting a colder winter. The North Atlantic Oscillation, or NAO, is crucial for East Coast winter weather. It measures the pressure difference between the Azores and Iceland. A positive NAO leads to milder, less snowy conditions for the Northeast. A negative NAO allows cold air to pour into the region and slows coastal storms. This setup is a classic recipe for a major nor'easter. For winter 2025 to 2026, a negative NAO is possible. This raises the probability of significant snowstorms for the I-95 corridor. Timing is key. Cold air must be in place for snow. If conditions align, the negative NAO could deliver memorable winter storms. The Madden-Julian Oscillation, or MJO, adds week-to-week -week variability. It's a traveling pulse of clouds and rainfall circling the tropics. The MJO can impact U.S. weather patterns significantly. It disrupts the jet stream, causing temporary changes in temperature and storms. When active over the Western Pacific, it leads to colder, stormier patterns. The MJO is the wild card in the forecast, determining timing and intensity. It can turn a moderate storm into a major one or trigger cold air outbreaks. Its periodic nature means the winter won't be uniformly cold or stormy. The winter of 2025 to 2026 will be a season of contrasts. The Midwest and Northeast should prepare for colder than average temperatures. Expect multiple polar vortex driven cold air outbreaks. The South will be warmer but with an active storm track. This could bring above average precipitation and potential severe weather. The West Coast will see a split season with early moisture followed by dryness. The best chance for significant precipitation is early in the season. This winter won't be one size fits all. The Midwest and Northeast brace for a traditional colder winter. The South will be mild but potentially wet and stormy. The West will see its best moisture early on before drying out. When will we see the first snowflakes? It varies across the US. In the Rockies, snow can start as early as September. By October, snow reaches lower elevations, like Denver and Salt Lake City. November brings the first measurable snow to the Northeast and Upper Midwest. Cities like Boston and Chicago usually see snow in November. The Central and Southern US often wait until December or later. The Southeast may see snow in January or February, if at all. Knowing these timelines helps set expectations as the season unfolds.